Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel where I teach you everything I know about watercolor. So for those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Emma and I'm from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Recently on my Instagram, I asked my followers to ask me some questions that they are wondering about, whether it's personal or professional, I told them I would answer during a Q&A on my YouTube channel, so that's what we're going to do today. Okay, so the biggest question that I got on my Instagram was, when did I start painting? Well, I think I've always been painting. Um, I've been painting since I was a little girl. I'm an only child, so after school every day, I usually come home, I'd sit in front of the TV with my sketchbook, and my paints or my pencils or my markers, and I would just draw and draw and draw. Um, it was what I love to do. I'd draw pictures for my friends, and then it just continued. As I got older, I ended up going to an arts high school. Um, I went there for art, and then I ended up not really liking art class as much, and I got more into the performing arts of singing and dancing, and then I kind of lost art for a while. Um, I was still continuing to doodle and stuff like that, and my thing was I would make cards for people. I never bought greeting cards for anybody. I always just make it, so I've always done that, but it wasn't until about three years ago, I was going through a tough time. One day I went to Michael's and I just picked up a really cheap paint palette and some paper and I just started painting. I turned on some jazz and just kind of relaxed and did that. So once I got into that, I um, started looking around on Instagram and I found a ton of artists that were super inspiring and so I just started to look at what they were doing and I tried out for myself and then I found an amazing watercolor artist uh, named Stephanie Fehrenbach and she was doing um, a workshop in Toronto and I treated myself for my birthday and I went it was half um, watercolor florals and half calligraphy with Becca from the happy ever crafter and that workshop just totally made me fall in love with art again and I loved calligraphy and I was doing the brush lettering for a while but something about the watercolor just really calmed me down and it just took over and I was obsessed. So if you're not following either of those people on Instagram, I'm going to link their Instagram pages below because they are incredible. Um, Stephanie has the most gorgeous floral. She also does um, oil paintings too and they're breathtaking and they still inspire me till this day. So follow them. Um, but yeah, that's kind of where I started about three years ago and I've just kind of been painting almost every day ever since for my mental health and yeah, and now I'm teaching it. So someone asked, do you have another side job besides painting? And so painting right now is kind of my side hustle um, next to momming, which is new. Um, before I was on mat leave, I was teaching kindergarten for the past six years. I've always been working in childcare. Um, and one of the things I love to do in kindergarten was teach art. So I think that's kind of why I have my simplistic approach to teaching. I can really simplify everything to make sure everyone understands. Someone asked, do you have to have natural talent to draw or watercolor? In my opinion, I don't think you do. It depends on what you're doing. Um, the people who do like realism, um, where it's like super detailed, I feel like that's talent. Like I do not have that. But the stuff I do, I don't necessarily think it's talent. It's a lot of practice. And when you have someone that teaches you in really simple steps and kind of makes you see it differently, I feel like anybody can do it. If you looked at some of my work from when I was first starting out, it's not very good. But if you keep practicing, you'll be great. Someone asked, have you taken Skillshare classes? Um, I have not. Um, I've just taken those couple workshops that I've done with Stephanie. And I look a lot on Instagram. That's when I was starting especially. And YouTube. Honestly, there's so many things right at your fingertips that are incredible. Um, but I definitely recommend Instagram and the art community on there. Everyone is so supportive and so kind and so inspiring. And that brings me to my next question. What inspires you? You guys. <laughs> um, so many artists on Instagram. Just kind people who are looking to share their talents and share their knowledge and their beautiful work and really that's what inspires me that and flowers just because they're so pretty someone asked 
What are your best mummy versus creativity juggling tips? Um, it's called nap time. There's my son napping. You can't really see. <laughs> He's napping upstairs. And so every time I get him down for a nap, I run downstairs to my office and I start busted out videos or painting. Um, most days so much that I forget to eat. It's like two o'clock and I'm just like, I haven't eaten anything today, which is not great, which probably means I should slow down but I just love it so much. So that's kind of my juggling tips. Um, you know, I, I shoot a lot of my videos during nap time. Um, I do a lot of my intros with him, with me, and I edit when we're upstairs in his playroom. But besides that, I'm still trying to figure everything out. I don't know what I'm doing most days. Um, someone said that they're trying to do florals, um, but it's very difficult. How did you practice? Honestly, just keep watching videos, keep watching um, little Instagram videos too, like even though they're like a minute long, they're super helpful. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it for that. Someone also asked, how do you stay motivated? Oh my goodness. If I knew, I would share my secrets. I, I don't know. Honestly, there are times where I don't stay motivated at all. Um, right now it's easier because I have YouTube and I'm enjoying it so much, but I think once January hit I was having a really hard time Staying motivated and staying positive and I was so gloomy and cold and I just I took a break for a while and I just I Couldn't do it. And you know what that happens? I think that happens with everyone But just know that you will get back on the wagon when you're ready Someone also said how do you visualize your art pieces? I have no imagination when I get started girl neither do I <laughs> honestly I I can paint a lot of things that I see, but I have a hard time visualizing things in my head and coming up with ideas. Um, a lot of the things I do, I will look at an actual photo off Pinterest or Google, and I will paint something based on that. Um, I don't come up with a lot of things in my head. I mean, sometimes a bouquet, but even so, I usually go on Pinterest and look up color palettes of bouquets and different wedding bouquets to get ideas. Honestly, I feel like my creativity does not start there with my imagination. Um, yeah, it's hard. Someone asked, how much water do you use? It's a big struggle. Um, water control, it, it takes practice. I do have a video on my um, YouTube channel about water control and giving you a couple tips that you can use. And also if you do use too much water, um, things you can do to help fix that. I will link that below in the description. But honestly, also it is still, it just still takes practice and even still sometimes I use too much water and then I have to fix it. So don't even worry about that, just keep practicing. Someone asked, what do you use to cut paper down to a smaller size? This trusty thing that I got from Michael is a paper cutter. Honestly, scissors, I just gave up on and it was really hard to cut the straight line even though I like um, used a ruler. No, those are a lifesaver, super fast, super straight get one. Someone asked what my favorite watercolor brand is. Um, if you've noticed in all my videos, I use Winsor & Newton paints. They are my favorite. Um, I started with um, a really cheap palette from Michaels, which is somewhere. I started out with this and it was great for starting out, honestly, if you're not looking into spending much money, but you just kind of want to get the hang of watercolor get yourself one of these things. Um, but once I was introduced to Windsor & Newton and I started saving up for some stuff, um, honestly, it's my favorite. I haven't tried any others just because I've invested so much money in my Windsor & Newton paints and they're amazing and it seems like a lot of great artists use them, so I just continue to use them. Um, someone asked me what are my favorite brushes. The Princeton Snap brushes are my favorite. I was given them at a workshop and I just continued to use them because I really like the way they work. I honestly don't know, notice too much of a difference with different brushes. Um, that's just me, but I think these work really well and they're not too expensive if you can find them in the right place. And yeah. What do you recommend painting first when you're just starting out? Honestly, anything you want. One of my tutorials. Pick one, anyone. So I think that's everything. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please comment below. I will try and answer as many people as I can. Um, I try and answer you guys. If you guys ever have questions, I want to share my knowledge, share everything I know about watercolor with you guys so you guys can get the most out of it. 
I really hope you guys are enjoying my channel and you know just keep on painting my only advice is don't get frustrated don't give up just keep going and enjoy the whole process because it should be relaxing and fun and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching have a great day guys bye